Okay guys, JH, welcome to Practice T. Got Mr. Rex here today and I'm teaching him to talk up because we've got the camera so far away. We haven't got our microphone back yet. But the video I did yesterday where which was JH's how I practice and what I feel and the things I work uh, with and to in my protocol are different to everybody else's. And so Mr. Rex has got his own and some of the things he does may be things that you can incorporate into your golf swing. When we talk about it, we can actually get here a bit, and we don't. And when you go back to hit, it won't matter. So we're closer. Okay. Yep. So you could you could just tell us also what 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 do you do compared to what I do. The main things for you. What do you feel? Well, now mainly I want to uh, <coughs> have no forward movement on my on my downswing. I want to feel like everything is behind me. The whole the whole uh, downswing is happening behind behind the line of the golf ball. I'm, I don't want to feel like I'm moving in front of the golf ball and the club is catching up to me. Right. So it's 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 basically as still as I can be over the ball at impact. And 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 turning, turning and, fa and yeah. facing away from the yeah. See how this back to the ball, guys. Now this is vital. It's vital in any golf swing, but it's vital in channel lock because we want to stay close. Now he feels that, don't you? I do. Yeah. Yep. He feels like his back is really facing the target, and the arms can then swing very independently because the body's corralled. It's not doing anything. It's just there, so the arms can just throw down. Yeah, and I, I know the shots that are, uh, are worse off than the others. Like the shots that are, you know, eighty percent, are when I lose that stability in the shoulder girdle. Whenever I, when I, whenever I let the back turn, yeah. I get a little bit worse shot. Well, you, well you will, because the body will actually get in the way of the swinging arms. If we're there, we're turned, and we fire the, fire the arms down like that, just like that. If we're turned here, and we just fire the arms down, that's a free rein, free run. But if I turn like that, look, where does my arms go? They, they want to come in here, and this body's blocking that free run of the arms. Now, tell them about how you see the golf club on that... On that, on that back view where you see it slicing through. Yeah, well, basically, I want to feel everything's behind me. So when I'm back here in my in my downswing, I'm just looking at the shaft dissecting uh, my chin line. My chin line is back okay, here. Okay, guys, now guys, I'll get him to repeat that. The, the shaft is coming through in view. I'm watching the shaft and it's dissecting my chin line. Five o'clock nose. The five o'clock nose. Or yeah or sternum, whichever way you want to go. So, so you actually see the shaft come past that line? I see That the imaginary shaft. line? Yes. Yep. I'm, I'm, I, I still have vision of the ball, yeah. peripheral vision of the ball, but my actual focus is the shaft coming past my chin line, underneath my chin. Well, that's really going to keep you back and closed. Okay, now, now if we go forward a little bit to to what you actually feel in the backswing, what starts the backswing for you, and, and what starts the downswing. Uh, okay. uh, we were talking on camera about the left hand and right hand in terms of push pull. Yes, yeah. bigger. The um, the start of my backswing is always I only feel my left side. I don't seem to feel anything coming from the right hand side. So for me, it's a push back into into the top of the swing. With with what? What are you pushing back with? Basically, the back of my hand. Okay back of the wrist so it's, it's a push back and then from there it's a, a slight drop and then pushing the right hand uh, sorry pulling the left hand back to the ball so, so it's push back with the left hand pull down with the left pull hand. down with the left wow um, I've been working on that lately uh, I, I did get into a tendency of pulling too much with the back of the hand and it gets too hard to to uh, square it up to, to time it. So so now it feels more like the back of the hand coming back to the ball. So it must feel very square to square to you, does it? It does, it feels very square. I've never ever been like that. I've always been open. Oh yeah, yeah, you've been, you've been a roller. And that's why Mr. X has always had an incredibly quick roll over and that's why he was pretty wild because he had a lot of release, a lot of roll release. But square to square, guys, is basically taking the club back, looking at the ball and not rotating it open or closed, and then bringing it down the same. But he's bringing it down with the pull down, and then he's just letting it release. 
Whereas what I, I, I do, I'm different. <clears throat> From the top, I get my little drop and then I get my throw. I get, I, get, I get a little toss. He doesn't do that, he gets a pull. What I'm saying guys, these are different ways that you can start your downswing. Um, if, you, if you're someone that is lead side orientated, you can actually start it. So he pushes it back with the lead hand and he starts it. Now when you pull pull down, what is it, what is it like a like a wrist pull? Or a... At the back of the back of the wrist. Back back to the ball. Okay, so you're trying to put the back of the wrist on the ball. On the ball, yeah. Okay. As if you okay. So it's not that? No, it it, it does that. It yeah. will do, it will do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, in, in anatomically it'll it'll do that, but yeah. For me, just in my thinking, I want to get to there, back to yeah. where I started. Yeah. Um, anatomically, it will it will turn over. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, I mean, the the ulna and the radius bone. I mean, they're just designed to do that. As soon as the arms get past the centre of the body, they're just designed to do that anatomically. So, okay. So, so your feeling coming into impact and at impact is that everything's back here, like you hitting away from yourself. He doesn't look like that, but that's what you feel. That's a feeling. It feels like my head my head is starting over my right foot, and at impact, I feel it further past my right foot. Okay. As okay. a feeling. Well, that's really gonna keep your right shoulder back and keep you locked in. All right, guys, now we were just fooling around before we came on camera, and these are things that can come up. Mr. X has been talking about something he's been working with his pitching and a little process that he's got in his pitch, still channel lock, but it's a little motion that he's got in his pitching and we were doing some pitch shots with it. Just go and get a, you know, get a wedge. But, but this is what happens, guys. I mean, I'm a pretty good pitcher, so I don't have to worry, but he's always working on his pitching. But what he's, do, what he's, what he's talking about is something we can take into the full golf swing. I used to do this action in my full golf swing. See, I, I, I like to try and make Try and make things as simple as I can. I'm, I'm, I get a little bit too technical with things. Um, I like to try and make it as simple as I can, uh, so I can remember it. Okay. Remembering things is, is the hardest thing for me. <laughs> for all of us, but <laughs> um, so basically, basically at the moment, with the pitching, it feels very square to square again, yeah. as as per um, most of our channel lock. I've, I've come up with this angle again. Which, which you've had. Which I have, but, but he's never I've had I've never had it. Yeah. Um, and a, more of a flat wrist um, set up on the, on the right wrist. The right wrist seems to be flat. Left wrist seems to have this. And I, I've never had that in my golf swing. Um, and that just gives me a push back and a push forward with the, with the, uh, the swing. And it's very much an arm ball, isn't it? Well, 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 there's no, well, there's no deliberate wrist cock at all. Now, guys, the reason that, that the club player, the rank and file golf, golfer, is very inconsistent and inaccurate with his pitching is because of that. That Everybody has a lot of wrist cock, well, not everybody, but a lot of club players have a lot of wrist cock in a very short duration golf swing, which is the pitch shot. But the problem is the swing is so short that you don't have enough time to get rid of all that wrist cock. And there's not enough velocity in the swing to throw it away. So what you can do is eliminate the need to do that. And the way you eliminate it is don't cock your wrists on the backswing at all. Feel like they are rigidized, like they are set in, like you've got plaster here, like you've broken both wrists in there. And we go back here and it's only the momentum of the golf club that will set the golf club in the backswing and, and the pulling down that will actually give you some wrist cock. But for all intents and purposes, we feel like that. That's what we feel like. And I've got to tell you guys, you can extrapolate that to the full swing. We, we were just fooling around off camera after we'd spoken about it for five minutes and Mr. X just started absolutely nutting the ball with a full swing and then he went over to get a drink before we came on camera and I started hitting some shots with it. Now, for me it's easy to do because I used to do, I used to do that. I used to play very much no wrist cock. i take the club back and feel like there was no wrist cock at all, just here and then just and just let the momentum fold the, the arms but it used to be like a like a, uh, a like a windscreen wiper that's what it felt like a big long windscreen wiper now just 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 show us and go through it here and just hit a couple little pitch shots up here 
and just go through the action I'm, and tell us what I'm not, I'm not afraid to admit that I was always a ter terrible pitcher of the ball. Yeah, and he used to <laughs> used to really lose some good scores because he tee to green, he'd get, you know, like a par four, he'd hit it up really close to some short par fours, and then he just, you know, wouldn't even get on the green because it was always this going on. Yeah. And it was, you know, flappy top. Yeah, so, so just talk us through and just talk up when you, when you explain what you're doing. Okay, so what my feeling is now is a lot of wrist angle here in the left wrist, but nothing in the right wrist. I feel like the right wrist is straight up and down and the left wrist has got an angle in it. And it's the same position, same ball position, everything as my tenor lock swing. So it's off the back foot. A little bit of uh, Mr. X factor in the, the right front foot. Then all I do is push back with the left hand try and maintain that angle and then push forward with the right hand. Okay, so, now, now go over that. Now he's pushing back with the left and then he pushes through with the right. And um, I've lost my train of thought now. Okay, well, <laughs> well, you, well, you, well you said that and, and I, I would, the reason I brought that up then was because I thought that if you push back with that lead hand you might actually reverse yeah. and pull down, but you don't. No, no, and it's, it's a lot of ready code in this. It, the change of direction is everything in making that that angle, isn't it? Yeah. So you need to have a, a lot of ready code in this, where the fact is you, you get to there, and then you're not going to do that. Yeah, you're you not going to snap load it. You get to there, and then you push back like a scoop. Okay, now he calls it a scoop. I call it a push. push. I call it a To me, it looks like a push throw. He's saying it's a scoop, but it's amazingly accurate. Uh, just, just hit a couple of shots up there. And you guys, it's just not flippy. That's the thing that's amazing. It takes all the flip out of your pitch shots. But guys, you've got to see that, and but you can hear that. I mean, that is just absolutely, you know, just compressed for a little shot. Just a little arm ball. Now, the only thing I would say there, the only thing that would take that compression away is if this moved at all. Yep. You've got to be really diligent, staying closed, head back, and then just throwing the arms past that head. Listen to the compression. I mean, I mean that's right beside the other golf. It's on top of the other one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now hit a couple this way so they can see what it looks like that way. Just to the right of the camera. Yeah, there, right. Yeah, just just over there. Yeah. As I say, guys, you've only got to hear it. Now, it's very difficult to make that type of contact with, with you know, 30, 40 yard pitch shots because we get so flappy. Now, he's actually feeling that he's got that, but he doesn't have that, as you can see, slow it down. He's just straight lining it, but he feels like that. He feels like that. He feels like the right hand is just throwing it through the ball. But you're not doing that, are you? Oh, I don't think I am. No, you feel like it, but you're not doing it physically. You're physically not doing it. They're straight, they're end over end flight. There's no oh, it's... right to left, left to right. All right, now we've only hit three or four shots uh, off camera, but just, just get Mr. X to hit a couple full shots with that action. Now that's something, maybe people who are inconsistent with the backswing and getting too much too much wrist cock and too much snap load. This could be an absolute uh, boomer for, for people to do that because it's going to take all the extraneous movement. Out. You're still going to get momentum loading because you're firing back here and the club will load because of the, the momentum. But on the downswing, we don't, have to, we don't have to get rid of all that wrist cock. And not only that, guys, it makes it very wide. You're very wide on, 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 on the shot as opposed, when you cock the, the club up, you get very narrow on the backswing. We don't want to be narrow. And in saying this, I, I don't actually do this in my full swing. This is just a demonstration. Like, I do it in my, ch my pitching now, Yeah, yeah, no, we, 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 he doesn't do this. We only, we only worked this out today to think that, hey, maybe we can do it in a full swing. It might help people, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just an I, option. I, I generally don't do this. This is just a demonstration of what you could do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure where I'm at for this. Uh, yeah, that's all right. Okay, so...
Guys, you've got to see it to believe it. This is what we say here on the JH Practice Tee, but that's just an exquisite golf shot. You know, like he was aiming aiming at a bunch of rubbish up here and it's just landed and in the, the rubbish. The feeling to me, I didn't feel any wrist movement at all. It, I mean, there is. It has to be. So it just felt like a big Y. It felt, felt like I was just back there forever. Yeah. But I wasn't. No, obviously. no, no. But, but that's the feeling that we want to cultivate. And I wasn't trying to do any, any sort of um, manipulation of the wrist. And you weren't trying to put the club on the ball. You were just, no. just letting the ball get in the way. That's different. I always try and put the club on the ball. Now it'll be interesting to see this on, on video replay and see how much wrist clock he has compared to his normal golf swing. Just to set it up where you want it. It'll be very interesting. I mean, it doesn't feel strange. It, it, it's just different. It's yeah, not... well, just, just square up a little bit. Try and get 90 degrees to the camera. Just aim to the left of the tree. Now, now, you've got more of this angle than you normally have. Show us the angle I, you normally have. I, I don't have any of that. Yeah, now, that was, now that's, that's what he's doing with this. He'll show you what he normally has. This is my normal... I've got no... barely any. So they had very normal configuration. So that's the difference. That's a hole in one, ladies and gentlemen. Very strong ball flight. Well, you it? would have only it's had to have a, a, 30, a 36 inch hole and that's a hole in one. It just hasn't moved, has it? No. What's interesting is that uh, he's getting a, a clearly getting plenty of release, club head release, otherwise the ball wouldn't have that little draw in it. And he's hit, he hits about eight degrees into out. So he's, uh, he's obviously getting plenty of toe release on the golf club, but it doesn't look like that. And it doesn't feel like that. No, it's, it's a strange, it's, well, I wouldn't say it's a strange feeling, it's a different feeling. Yeah, yeah. It's not, not my usual feeling. But okay. it still, to me, it still feels like my left side is controlling the swing. So, so with the full swing, is it still, um, is it still left left hand push back, right, right? This one, this one, the full swing is left hand back, left hand okay. through. Right. That's the only that's the only okay. difference between the pitching. Okay. The pitching, I feel like I control it more with that that right hand okay. on the way through. But this one, I'm pushing and pulling with the left hand. Well, I've got to say, and you know, you know Joe is a little bit prone to exaggeration on occasion, but honestly, I have never seen Mr. X hit better flighted golf shot than that. I've never seen you hit a better no, flight. It's, it's a different flight. It, it is just, I mean, I, I like the flight that I've got at the moment with my yeah. normal swing, but that is different, different yeah. flight. Mm. Uh, that, that's, that to me is a super high integrity ball flight. I mean, that's just exquisite, like about a three yard draw, beautiful, just exquisite ball flight. And what's interesting is your tempo seems very, 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 very soft because I think there's so much push in the swing yeah. and, not, and not a lot of... See, the, when, you, when you get risk going, guys, it agitates the body. But when there's just a push back and a nice flow, the, the tempo's, tempo rate comes down. You watch the tempo, the tempo is super. Okay, now we've just seen that. Now just hit a couple of shots, hit two or three shots with your normal swing. And any of you guys that can, on your settings on YouTube, when you go to settings, just put it on speed on the 0 0.25 and just have a look at the difference if there is any. Now you'll see the difference in the set of his hands here, they're different compared to the other one. Well, to me, the swing's got more swish in it. A little bit more Zorro in it than the other one. The other one's more like a... Straight up. Know, like we're just throwing throwing a log underhanded or, or a rod underhanded. That one has got plenty of zip in it. Um, and it's a different fight. The draw on that is much stronger, isn't it? Yep. It's a much stronger draw. The other one's sort of half the draw that, that his normal swing gives. 
the second swing, the one that I've just done, feels a little bit more open and shut. Okay, and you can see that in the ball throw, because it's a really and strong. The previous pack. one feels very square to yeah. square. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that'll be interesting to have a look at. I'll just do my my normal swing again. Yeah, that's the difference. When I come here and I practice to these targets, I know where I carry the ball, and, uh, and Mr. X has just flown the tree that I normally land the ball at the base of. He's just still in the air. Okay, so what? Anybody could use that 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 um, swing that we were talking about. Well, well, I, I, I think I think the reason we we did bring it up is for people that that get a little bit uh, over. Uh, over over wrist cocky, overactive. Yeah, in, in the back seat, too much of this, even in a full swing. But certainly in the pitching action, you don't need it. In the pitching action, you don't need a lot of wrist cock. We'll see what the sun's like, and we'll come back. We'll just hit a couple little shots down here. Mr. X can hit a couple down here, and you'll be able to actually see the flight and see how accurate it is. Yeah, thanks, Mr. X.